Hi, I'm Chris, and today I'll share with you my personal hints and tips when covering grey hair for clients with blonde. It's important to assess the percentage of grey, but also the distribution of those hairs throughout the head and the result your client wants to achieve and their finished result. This will then help determine the product and shade choice, but also your technique. Here on Beatrice's hair, you can see she has a higher percentage of grey through the top and the sides, and actually at the back, barely any at all. So I know that on the top, I need to concentrate with coverage, and on the back, it's more about lift and neutralizing the exposed underlying pigment. I will scatter some highlights through the top to create a natural looking result, which is often what you want when working with clients with natural blonde hair, because they rarely want a solid block color. It will also diffuse the regrowth as it grows out. To revive the lengths and ends, I will do a gloss with Colliston Perfect. This will give a beautiful shine and a soft tonality to the hair. Once the grey is increasing through the back, you might want to change your formula. Remember, what is it that's your main objective? Is it to cover or neutralize underlying pigments? I hope this has given you some more ideas and inspiration for when working with Colliston Perfect for gray coverage. If you want to see more inspiration or gray coverage techniques, why not subscribe to the Weller Professionals YouTube channel now?